welcome back to my channel my lovely Aries so this is a monthly reading for you all and I have something to tell you all I won't be doing any more daily readings in this channel I have another channel so the channel's link is there in the description box below so you can go check that out for my daily readings okay in this channel I will be concentrating on monthly weekly bi-weekly and also pick a card readings okay so let's start your monthly reading now. So for Aries, your monthly reading. So first I will be starting your monthly readings with your daily energies. That is like with your starting of the month, in the middle of the month and the end of the month. Okay. So starting of the month, general energy. middle of the month energy and end of the month energy guys i didn't shuffle with we're getting the last cards are like coming just as how it came for the other signs okay energy the same cards are coming oh my god okay see the same cards are coming what's the point of me shuffling okay so anyways Aries. So let's see what's coming up for you all, okay? So for the starting of the month, this month is going to start with a lot of listening to your inner voice kind of things. You're not being crazy if you listen to your inner voice. You're looking for your soulmate. Your intuition is working really well in the starting of the month. Okay. You're going to also ask people for a lot of help. I also see here that you're getting involved in a third party relationship. Or you're getting involved in some kind of a relationship like that. Or you were involved. You might be also dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I see here, okay, or maybe Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, okay. So, for your love energies for the starting of this month, Aries. This person wants actually commitment with you. They had like two ways or two options to decide upon and they have made their decision to be with you, okay. Because we have the second card when it comes to the middle of the month. So therefore, this person had two decisions to make and in the ending of the first part of the month, like what to say, the first week or the first week of the month, this person will be making a decision to come towards you and they want commitment with you, okay? But you guys are not celebrating you guys are not celebrating your union or something like that you just want to keep it within yourselves because you're not that much into sharing your union with anyone else because you think that people will uh, keep have a big evil eye on you or something like that okay you don't want to share or celebrate because i see the celebration card that is a three of cups in reverse so there's no celebration coming up for you all but you are definitely coming together okay in the middle of the month, this person wants marriage with you, but they're still kind of uh, conflicted by uh, coming back to you because they just think about their past with you. They think their bad things like what all you did to them or what all happened by staying with you. They recollect their past moments with you again and again, which makes them doubt this connection. And therefore, they don't want to come towards you, but they desire of having this kind of a marriage with you, okay? It is, you might be also dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, okay? Because we have a strong Scorpio card with a Moon card. I also see here you are recently dreaming about this person a lot, okay? And this person wants to come towards you in the middle of the month, but something is stopping them. But they're th really thinking and seriously wanting to be your partner in the middle of the month, okay? In the end of the month, if you see here, guys, it is totally different because this person feels totally hurt. they again thinking about the whole situation of when you were together, like you hurt them or something like that. They can't get away with this hurt. And they're feeling totally hurt about this whole situation. They feel cheated or they don't feel like coming towards you, okay? 
I don't know why their energy is like this. So it's so complicated. What is your energy though? You are detached. You are responsible. So, so for this month, you will be detached, but you will be responsible for people around you. Your patience with people around you. You're not. Uh, what is it? You don't want to face rejection or something like that. Your reaction is like you're reacting too much. I also see here. You are being a little crazy this month. I also see here. You're having patience. You're reacting too much. You can't accept rejection. You are keep on thinking. A lot of thoughts are going on in your mind. You really want to be with this person, but you feel this person cheated. There's a lot of things going on in your lives, my lovely Aries. Okay. So your overall situation for the end of the month is going to be like this person is in a hangman state. They're uh, growing spiritually higher, but they don't know uh, what you're up to or they don't know what is this connection leading to or something like that. Okay, this person really wants to come towards you. Okay, guys, that's all you need to know. So this is all I have for you, my lovely Aries. They want commitment. They're choosing over you all again. Okay. You're choosing the right path also I see here. Okay guys. This is for your monthly energies. That I have for you all. Let's see what. Uh, angels have to tell you. Okay. What the angels have to tell you. We have the generosity card. The withdrawal card. We have the be tolerant card. Dark forces or dark energies I'm getting, okay? So, let me just read all these three cards for you now, okay? From this booklet. Generosity comes generosity comes in many forms and in modern society it is easy to feel one is being generous by giving financial gifts although at times organizations and people may require financial assistance there are many other ways to support them helping others does not always require you to dig to dig your own pocket but more importantly to dig your own heart assisting another human being can be as simple as sharing your time and energy, looking around you and find the areas in your life where a little more generosity can help heal and support a friendship, a family, a community. And if someone shows their generosity to you, accept it with gratitude and love, pass it on with others. Withdraw. So I'll read the withdrawal card for you now. There are times when it is necessary to withdraw from the world in order to rest or view things from a different perspective. Withdrawing does not mean you must give up on things. It is simply a period for you to temporarily disengage from a situation. This respite allows you the time you need to gain clarity over a situation, using your inner wisdom to discern all your facts you cannot be objective about things if you are too caught up in this in them you are too busy to stop and see things for what they are give yourself this opportunity to look at yourself and your situation from the perspective of a third person do not judge simply observe and allow thoughts to flow where they will invite zaxile into your cave and your loving guidance and insight so this is the Saxile or that angel, okay? So I'll be reading for the B tolerant card. I hope you're getting my message. Tolerance is about finding a balance between being detached from a situation without reacting in a knee jerk manner and being fully engaged in order to respond appropriately. Archangel Jamal can help you find that balance so that you can still be. Fully involved with situations without reacting in a destructive manner. You are then able to observe and acknowledge what is going on and contribute in a constructive way. You can transform a negative solution 
into a positive one through responding rather than reacting. This does not mean giving up your own beliefs or sense of right and wrong. The goal is to comprehend all your sides of the situation and the imperial manner before taking a stance. Okay, so this is for the B tolerant card, the angel messages. Now I will be seeing for the power of love activation cards have to tell you. Okay, what does this card want to tell you? What does this card want to tell you? We have the integrity card, tolerance card. See, we have the tolerant here, tolerant here. There's something that you need to concentrate about the tolerance, okay? We have the willingness card. So I will also be reading all these cards. Okay? Starting with the integrity card. Integrity. There is a great chasm between believing in something and demonstrating it to the world. Walk your talk is a mantra of this card that bridges this gap. You can read every spiritual book available, but if you don't practice what is the what you've accepted in your heart, then it is all for naught. Holding love and compassion as the cornerstones of your belief system is a very different from manifesting them into the real world. Integrity is a state of wholeness and completeness of being. When all the pieces of your psyche are unified as one, you don't have to try to be compassionate. You are just a person with integrity follows through on their commitments. If you tend to second guess yourself, you are filled with conflicting opinions. You might still be struggling to find your authentic self and that's okay. Life is about learning to be better you. And if you aren't learning something new every day, that's a wasted opportunity to know whether you are coming from an integrated space. Notice your behavior during a time of chaos. If there is a gentle quiet of your mind and a clear path is seen, then love is present. When you come from the center, you are in the moment, not swayed by the past or the future. You shine a beacon of self-assurance that draws all good things to you. Okay? So this is all I have for the integrity card. So I'll read for the tolerance card now, guys. Tolerance. The schools that we call Earth can be a very daunting destination. You should be proud of a bravery you have shown by electing to come here to experience it. The planet has a multitude of belief systems and what? philosophies practiced by beings who don't look or act exact like you do. Even though we are the same side, Ironically, choosing to incarnate into the dimension where you feel separated from the whole is what makes Earth so appealing to courageous souls like you. The soul who gratitude with high honors are the ones who have been past, seen past the illusion of the race and gender, religion, beliefs and recognize their brothers and sisters. Love thy neighbor as thyself is a mantra of the card. The physical guises that we hear where are just that illusions. In truth, we are the same beings of love. When you are able to go within and connect with the soul's loving energy, you have a realization that we belong to the originate to and originate from the same source. Tolerance is being secure within your own sense of self and letting others be as without their judgment or bias. Learn to see them as a very travelers who, like you, crave encouragement, respect, and support. Okay, 
this for the tolerance card i will read for the willingness card now willingness you have come to the earth's plane to learn to accept the things you cannot change as opposed to those you can life is a constant game of discovery but no price can be put on any experience because each one transforms you when you are willing to look inside and begin to change your habits self imposed fears and perceptions only then will you be able to see your true self the catalyst for transformation comes from your willingness to forgive open your heart and be honest with yourself you are never too old to learn and each day should be filled with excitement about how you perceive will be altered you can gauge your spiritual growth by your willingness to learn from the grown from and accept another by keeping an open mind when conditions change you expand your knowledge of life allowing love to radiate through you and in everything you do brings divine awareness to all those in your sphere rigid rigidly adhering to your dogma is going to dis the service to your growth the willingness to accept others and their individual path is a soul strength so this is all i have for you all my lovely aries thank you all so much for watching guys see you all in my next video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for resonated bye